California is already a really special place. It's a place of high biodiversity, and Santa Cruz Island is kind of like the best of California. We have unique species that are only found on this island and nowhere else in the world. There's no power lines. There's not many buildings, not a lot of people. It's a place that you would never really see anywhere else. Twenty-five miles off the coast of Santa Barbara, nested within the California Current, Santa Cruz Island is the site of some of the Nature Conservancy's most courageous conservation actions, past and present, and a living laboratory that's advancing island restoration here in California and across the globe. All over the world, islands share some challenges and really tough history. They account for only about 5% of the world's land mass, but over 75% of the extinctions. So we need to change that trajectory of extinction, especially in an era of rapid climate change. Pre-European colonization, the ecosystem was intact and interconnected. Each piece relied on its neighbor and they worked together to be healthy and thrive. We know that the Chumash people were here for at least 10,000 years, living in the abundance of this ecosystem in the late 1800s with the introduction of sheep, pigs, and other livestock. It was a dust bowl. So in 1978, TNC became aware of this really critical need for this ecosystem because it was on the brink of disaster. And together with some partners, decided to take on the most ambitious, risky move that it could at that time. The Nature Conservancy made the bold decision to purchase Santa Cruz Island at a time when the island was in crisis. While invasive sheep and feral pig populations were destroying native plants, DDT was driving the island's bald eagle population to extinction. And the effects of this ecological cascade didn't stop there. Santa Cruz Island has a fox species that is unique to the islands and active in the daytime and totally unafraid. You walk by on the trail and they just look at you. They're their top predator there and they never had to deal with anybody feeding on them. Bald eagles had been the dominant bird, but they were gone. And golden eagles discovered the island. Now bald eagles eat a lot of fish. Golden eagles, on the other hand, they're a superb grassland hunter. Golden eagles started eating foxes. It became clear pretty quickly that we were going to lose them. When we started doing comprehensive censuses, there was thought there were about 1,800 foxes on the island. We could only find 100 animals, 100. This was, I think, maybe the hardest decision I have made in my career. We had to move the foxes to captive breeding, and it was a hard thing to do. Fortunately, we're working with the National Park Service, and together we were able to establish, I think, 75 animals, and they adjusted remarkably well, and they did breed in captivity. That, that outcome has been extraordinary. Thanks to the passion and commitment of the Island Fox Recovery Partnership, the Santa Cruz Island Fox is considered one of the fastest and most successful endangered species recovery programs in history and an amazing proof point for TNC's approach to land stewardship and island restoration. The removal of invasive species set the island on a new ecological trajectory, and many of the rare plants and wildlife of Santa Cruz Island have made massive recoveries in the last 30 years. In 2023, the Santa Cruz Island Live Forever and Island Bedstraw were declared fully recovered under the Endangered Species Act in a triumph for partners across the island. We've learned that if we make a few tweaks to the ecosystem, plants and animals can recover and do a lot of the work on their own. But there's still a couple species that need our help. Either they were too far gone by the time that the Nature Conservancy and the National Park Service stepped in, or they just need a little extra help in this new world that we're living in that is dominated by humans. Many of these lands have been degraded. New exotic species have been introduced and we need to control them or deal with them. And so these living laboratories are where we begin to repair these systems. We're able to run experiments and that kind of discovery not only teaches us about nature itself, but it also teaches us about how to create the solutions. Today, TNC is proud to be part of an archipelago of partnerships looking to strengthen the resilience of islands across California. We work with land managers, scientists, and more partners on restoration challenges across the Channel Islands.
but this is only part of the picture. We're proud to share our scientific insights and thought leadership as part of a global conservation community, applying our learnings at the Channel Islands to fulfill a shared vision of healthy, resilient islands around the world. We're working to study and restore oaks in key locations, including by supporting the endemic island scrub jay, a conservation partner who helps us plant acorns across the island. We're removing harmful non-native plants and Argentine ants to protect our native plants and pollinators. And we developed and implemented a rapid biosecurity system to protect against invasive species like rats. This innovative technology is now being used at islands across the Pacific. We worked with partners to remove endangered black abalone from Santa Cruz Island to establish a new population at TNC's Jack and Laura Dangerman Preserve in order to help the species recover all along California. Translocations like this are becoming more and more essential as climate change transforms the places that species once called home. In California, we're entering into a period of immense climate instability and uncertainty. That means to me, we need to prepare the island and its ecosystems and species to be able to cope with rapid fluctuations and change. We know that there's gonna be years that are much wetter and much drier. And there's also gonna be drastic swings in temperature norms. And that is really stressful. And what we wanna do here is find protective mechanisms just like we would use for ourselves to give nature an ability to adjust in those kinds of extremes. Nature is our home. It protects us, it nurtures us, both our bodies and our imaginations. Well, nature is our teacher. This is her classroom. And here we can observe, we can ask great questions and test our theories, and then learn how we can best steward this place. We're proud to continue Santa Cruz Island's legacy as a home for courageous conservation and a living laboratory to develop innovative conservation solutions to reach far beyond our borders. <laughs>